Hello guys, welcome back to another video. Um, okay, I'm gonna start a new YouTube series on my PlayStation. I'm gonna be playing Red Dead Redemption, Undead Nightmare. This is gonna be a gameplay, part one. Each video is gonna be a minimum of 10 minutes. Um, 10, 15 minutes, I say? Yeah, 15 minutes will be alright. Um, Undead Nightmare. I told you this already. I'm not doing normal Red Dead Redemption. I don't know why, I just think I'd rather do this. So I'm gonna start a new game, and we're gonna play. So new game. I, I've got pretty far on this. Um, not too far, actually. I'm still not over here yet. Here in Mexico, but I'll get there. Oh, let's start a new game. All right. First mission, number one. I'm using my iPad to record. I, I do not. I, I'm not recording on my PlayStation. It never worked, so I'm not doing it. So I'm gonna shut up now, so you can watch. After months away, John Marston has returned to his loved ones while trying to rebuild his ranch and win back the trust of his family. Marston awaits whatever life will throw at him. As he drives home one evening from an errand, he ponders whether a man can ever escape his past. He is a man who is ready for anything. Almost anything. <laughs> Mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I meant to say, damn this awful son I've raised with his high pollutant ways and his shame that his mother swears like a sailor and sews like a blind man. And ain't that better, your lordship? Much better, mother dear. Oh, good. I'm so glad, my darling. When you've finished your university education and are far too good to even acknowledge my existence when we pass on the street, and you gently kick me aside and beg an old crow out of the way with your highly polished boot. Well, think of me kindly at least, will you, my son? I'll try to, Mother. I'll think, that woman I just kicked, that used to be my dear old potty mouth mom. Maybe I should bother to kick her harder. <laughs> dear boy. Oh, I am so proud of you. Off. Now, Father's here. Maybe he can beat some sense into you. Something funny going on out there. They have dogs going crazy and wolves howling and birds flying. Well, it's just a storm, John. Maybe. I'll go make it back. Hold on. Okay, um, I'm gonna have to cut this video actually short, so this video will be, will end, um, let me see, I'm not so sure, um, I ended a couple of minutes, I'll probably end it at eight minutes in, so, alright, let's continue. Back yet? I thought he was with you, off drinking in the fields, I mean working, as you call it now. Uh, he went into town a few hours ago after we busted that hammer working out in the meadow. Well, he's probably holed up in some place of ill repute waiting for the passing of the storm. I hope so. Well, that old man can take care of himself. I know. Just a funny feeling I got. You call it psychic, Paul? Either that or I hate something funny. Knowing your mother's cooking, seems more than likely. 
Well, talking about food, who's ready for some poisoning? <laughs> Me, my darling. I am starving. What you read? Just some book about monsters. Tell me about it. It's kind of dumb. That should suit me just fine. Well, it's all about in ancient times how Aztec warriors worshipped the sun, but during full moons, some of them worshipped the moon instead and upset the equilibrium of things. So anyway, what it involves is there's this one guy that goes out Get my gun.
guys, thanks for watching the first video of Red Dead Redemption. Kind of the start, actually. No, I'll just finish this. I don't know what the hell's gotten into you sick, crazy bastards or what else has done to you, but I'm going to get help. Stay calm. Calm as you can, seeing as both of you seem to have gotten a little excited. Probably just a fever. Jack, be kind to your mother. Abigail, teach the boy right from wrong. Stop biting chunks out of people. Be back as soon as I can. All right, let's begin. Okay. Come on, buddy. Let's get to Blackwater. Austin! It's me! Professor, what are you doing here? I thought you went back to Yale. I did, but uh, I came back uh, for another round of research, <laughs> and now all hell is quite literally broken loose. What is going on? Let's, uh, I'm a man of science, a man of great learning, a thinker, a, a wise man, and I'll be honest with you, sir, I haven't got a fucking clue. Why is that, then? Well, what should we do? Well, I suggest we try to find other survivors. Band together and find a cure, or fight to the death trying. Well, that sounds great and all, but uh, I'm uh, just peachy. I'm not sure that I'm, I'm not cut out for such shenanigans. I, I was thinking more that uh, finding a horse and, and riding back to the civilized north at the speed of knots before writing a paper on the events from the comfort of my study. I'm a scientist after all, right? I mean, I, I, I can't do much science if I'm some bloodshot dervish's lunch, can I? Much as I would like. Your sense of duty is very impressive, Professor. <laughs> I'm gonna search the back street for survivors. No, no, be, perhaps staying with you would be safer. Uh, could you just wait a sec here, would you please? I, I'm going to wander down that lonely, deserted street and get my back. Wait, you should stay with me, Professor. You haven't got a gun. Oh, no, it's okay. There's no need to worry. Everyone's already dead. <laughs> I met myself with Mr. Nastas. You remember him, that Indian fellow, dumbest bricks, but, but a good sort. Okay. Well, meet me in a couple minutes. Affirmative. A couple of minutes. 